Hey there guys, all right, today we've got a really short one from OSP, this one on Niobe, the miscellaneous myths, the uh, tragic mother of Greek mythology. Um, I mean, really all Greek mythology is tragic. I don't know, have we even had a happy Greek myth yet? I don't think we've had, I think they've all been bad. I don't think the Greeks have any happy stories, I'm going to be honest. Um, anyways, before we dive in, make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below. Would love it if you joined the Discord. Also got a gaming channel there here on YouTube where I'm uploading old stream VODs. And also my Twitch channel. Please go follow me. Because I do stream often. So, I, I, decently enough. Really only on the weekends now, but anyways. Anyways, rambling. During the summer it'll be more. Um, let's just go ahead and, ah, I mean, look that, go ahead and dive in. When will these people learn not to piss off the gods? Okay, the story of Niobe is very short, and like most Greek tragedies, is an essay on the folly of hubris. But for context, we're gonna need the story of Leto and her twin children, Artemis and Apollo. Yeah, you already know who they are, but their mom is- Never heard of them more important in this story, so bear with me. So way back when, the goddess Leto oh, had a fling with Zeus and got pregnant. Hera obviously objected, but because she couldn't do her normal solution and kill Leto, she instead decided to make her life really hard. So she oh. put out some rules. Leto could totally give birth, she just couldn't do it on the mainland, on an island, or anywhere under the sun. And apparently Olympus counted too? Whatever. So Leto found this tiny barren rock called Delos, which wasn't the mainland and didn't count Take that, you harpy! ...as an island, and set up to give birth. Some versions also say that Hera kidnapped Alethea, the goddess of childbirth, to keep Leto from having her kids. But any mother will tell you that nothing stops the baby when it wants to get out, so Leto had her children anyway. Huh. Could have sworn that would work. First Artemis, and then nine days later, Apollo. So now that we've got some backstory... Hold on. Oh. He was like... He was in, in labor for nine... Mm. Let's talk about Niobe. So Niobe, queen of Thebes, has a loving husband, Amphion, and 14 children, seven Damn. sons and seven daughters. Life is pretty sweet. Now Leto has a temple in Thebes, and she's requested that the women of Thebes pay her some respect via incense. Pretty much standard godly fare. Well, Niobe shows up to do her thing, and apparently decides that the best way to worship There's no way for this plan to backfire. Leto is to try and one-up her. So Niobe claims that, hey, she managed to have 14 kids while Leto only had two. So who's the real goddess? Well, evidently Leto, as the minute she hears that particular gem, she calls up the twins and asks, Hey kids, need you to demonstrate quality over quantity. Ask him to show Niobe who's boss. So Artemis and Apollo gear up and start sniping Niobe's kids, killing all of them. Then her husband kills himself. Sucks to be you, Niobe. Sounds like your mouth was writing checks your nuclear family couldn't cash. Then she turns into a rock. The end. I won't just oh, <laughs> Really just dang, this was short. Yeah. The there are a ton of Greek myths like this. Little anecdotes ex anec fuck. anecdotes explaining why pissing off the gods is bad. You're like, uh, I wish I'd be well known. Like, you'd think that'd be common sense, but apparently people needed convincing. My favorite is Arachne. That was a woman who could not give less of a care what the gods thought of her. And again, it didn't exactly turn out well. They never do. This has been an overly sarcastic production. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Really short, under four minutes. Peace.